la 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 Tranquil mind finds a shelter Where no anger hates shedding blood Gunfire seeking safety under humanity There is love, friendship and unity No more war and violence And rape for peace No more war and violence And rape for peace Now I would like to call the uh, Cartman Wright to read the speech from uh, Mr. Sami on English. Carmen? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. I was having a problem with the audio. An article on peaceful coexistence from an Islamic perspective. When peaceful coexistence reigns over the world, love flows and the voice of peace rises in it. As for sectarian conflicts and those who fan the fire of sectarian strife and the ignition of sectarian wars, so they contribute to the world and push it backwards. However, the wisdom of God in his creation is making them different. If God wanted mankind to be based on one belief, he would have done it. As he said in his dear Quran, and had your Lord willed, those on earth would have believed all of them entirely. Then, O oh Muhammad, would you compel the people in order that they become believers? Surat Yunus. This is a speech to the prophet of Islam. So what about us? The creator, the almighty. He emphasized the freedom of belief, saying, and saying the truth is from your Lord. So whoever will let him believe, and whoever will let him disbelieve, Surat al <laughs> From the start, the Islam faith was keen to spread love, peace, and peaceful <laughs> And the wise Quran forbade even insulting those who disbelieve, and even if they worship another god, saying, and do not insult those that invoke other than Allah, lest they insult Allah in enmity without knowledge. Thus we have made pleasing to every community their deeds, then to their Lord is their return, and he will inform them about what they used to do. Surat Allah. Oof, yeah. This prohibition enshrines the principle of peaceful coexistence. Despite the difference of belief, it's granted to the right to live in diversity, and Islam invites mankind to respect the other in raising issues without placing a ban on them, so that the image of peaceful coexistence is complete through saying of God Almighty, and do not argue with the people of the scripture, except in a way that is best, except for those who commit injustice among them and say, we believe in that which has been revealed to us and revealed to you. And our God and your God is one. And we are Muslims in submission to him. Surat Allah on Kabak. These civilized disciplinary situations establish the language of dialogue, respect for others, and the obligation to listen to them and create a space for disagreement called consultation or democracy. Islam has not neglected the co completeness of the forms of peaceful coexistence with the other in the call to food and drink, even with those believing in other religions. Looking at the saying of God Almighty, this day all good foods have been made lawful, and the food of those who were given the scripture is lawful for you, and your food is lawful for them. Sarat Allah Mad idea. It is the image of the civil civilized human interaction that the Quran 
establishes by maximizing the positive interaction with all of humanity in the sense that religion is for God and religions were not an obstacle to coexisting with others despite the difference of belief. And history has witnessed for Islam and Muslims when the Islamic faith treated mankind with the concept of absolute justice without prejudice or favor. Deed, Allah commands you to render trust to whom they are due. And when you judge between people, to judge with justice. Excellent is that which Allah instructs you. Indeed, Allah is ever hearing and ever seeing. Surat al Nisa. The observer of the verse will find God's affirmation of absolute justice among all human beings saying, and if you judge between people saying people and not only Muslims, because of the concept of justice is an absolute concept, the perspective of Islamic call and the first Muslims used to be establishing justice on themselves and their families before achieved it with others, without favoritism for kinship and our Iman. The prophet said in part of prophetic hadith, if Fatma, the daughter of Muhammad stole, Muhammad would cut off her hand. The terrorism that Muslims are accused of is caused by many Muslims who do not understand the spirit of their faith and promoted by non-Muslims. It is the doctrine of peaceful coexistence. And this is the first thing the Holy Prophet did on the day that he entered Medina with the brotherhood between the Oz and the Quraysh. And peaceful coexistence between the Ansar and the immigrants. And that the pro Prophet emphasized the sanctity of treachery and betrayal when the messenger of God, may God's prayers and peace be upon him, said, whoever trusted in a man for his blood and killed him, then I am innocent of this murderer, even if the slain is an infidel. Islam always prohibits the human soul from treachery and unlawful killing and glorifies its sanctity. That is, with God, greater than the sanctity of the Kaaba. And the companions followed the steps of the prophet on the path of peaceful coexistence. History does not deny the Omerian covenant that Omar Ibn al Kabatab wrote between him and the Eliah family in Jerusalem. With the popes, the Farnias, that their churches should not be touched their space should not be destroyed and their crosses should not be broken. And when it was the time for prayer, the Pope invited him to pray the Muslim prayer inside of the church. Omar refused to pray the Muslim prayer inside so that Muslims would not take it as a sunnah after him and the crowd, the Christian churches. These attitudes are reflected the extent of Islam's keenness on peaceful coexistence with those who believe in other religions. And here is our prophet, Muhammad, the prophet of mercy, not only for Muslims, but as a mercy to the whole world. Through the saying of God Almighty, and we have not sent you, O Muhammad, except as a mercy to the world. His message is a global message, valid for every time and every place, with evidence that God said to him, that you may warn the mother of the cities and those around it. The science of geology proved that Mecca is in the middle of the earth and that the Kaaba is the center of the circle and the world revolves around it. So our master Muhammad, peace be upon him, it is not a regional messenger, but a global one. His message is a message that includes the whole world and despite that, he did not force anyone to enter Islam because God told him, indeed, O Muhammad, you do not guide whom you like, but Allah guides whom he will. 
and he is the most knowing of the rightly guided. And God Almighty closed the case by saying, there shall be no compulsion in acceptance of the religion. The right course has become distinct from the wrong. Sarat al-Bakara. All this to achieve security and safety through the realization of the concept of peaceful coexistence. To conclude my speech, this conflict the world is witnessing due to the loss of freedom and the lack of understanding of the purpose of the creed. This is what promoted against Islam as a religion of ignorance. This refutes that claim. The splendor of our Islamic history in the glorious ages is that Muslims spread tolerance, science, and the spirit of peaceful coexistence, and that Islam and the Muslims have given the world a civilization that illuminates the corridors of the international universities, of the institutes specialized in medicine and astronomy. However, many Muslims who abandoned the spirit of the Islamic faith and were implored abhorrently to distort the splendor of their faith through the presence of pretenders affiliated with Islam falsely and slanderously to show it as a religion of extremism. Islam will remain pure and will remain strong despite the weakness of Muslims because they have often abandoned the goal of seeking knowledge. The first line was inspired to Muhammad from the Quran calls for knowledge and calls for learning. It says, recite in the name of your Lord who created, created man from a clinging substance. Recite and your Lord is the most generous who taught by pen, taught men that which he knew not. Surat Allah Allah. He taught all humans, not only Muslims. Through this article, I wanted to establish the truth and make it crystal clear. All mankind through the ages and times have the right to coexist. Thank you, Carmen. We did a good job. Thank you. Thank you. Shukran Gazira.